Hello. Okay, so here is the mid to late summer garden update 2024. Let's start with <laughs> little man. This is our little cat. He's very comfortable here. Hey there. Oh, he's the cutest. All right, so these are just some plants that my family put in. Palm tree. More plants. The rose bush. More roses. And surprise! <laughs> I ended up growing a giant sunflower that I didn't notice last time I made the video in June. It was probably this big and now it's fully bloomed. <laughs> it's at least eight feet tall. <laughs> Next to the pine. Bird bath. <laughs> and there's little man again. And now I can't wait to show you the apple trees. They're hanging over so much from the apples. And more rose bushes. Bloomed. Oh, an apple. So look at how much they're hanging over from last time. The shrubs are looking good, the arborvitaes, maple trees. Get over to the yard. So the Rose of Shannon has more blooms that are going to be coming out soon. You can see how thick the trunk got over the years. There's plenty more that are going to be coming out. And Here's the apple tree. Look at all these Granny Smiths. This tree has never produced so much. It's finally like producing a lot after 10 years. All the apple. Up there. I have to prune it a bit. But I'll do that in the fall. And they're very large too. They're getting there. It's a lot. There's even some branches on the floor, so I definitely have to prune it. And this is the Macintosh, which is producing a lot too. They're starting to turn red. These will be ready in probably less than a month. And look at how much this branch is holding up. This branch used to be up there, and now it's all weighed down. You can see some nice red ones up there. And this tree is nine years old. It's one year, I planted it one year after the Granny Smith right there. And this tree didn't produce apples for years. Like 
I was thinking of even cutting it down a couple like two years ago because it still hadn't produced apples it just started last year these two pollinate each other so I wasn't this tree was pollinating it for years but it just started so I guess it had to mature They're getting really big. And they look nice and healthy. All these roots from the maple tree. Get that out of there. We got some new shrubs here. They're growing in and here. Now I'll show you the swamp white oak again. Not much has changed since June when I made the last video. It's getting really tall. And you could see how thick the trunk has become. And new shrubs there too. And then we'll wrap it back to the front. See again the big pine, eastern white pine. It looks like a mushroom when it's pruned up. Holly bush. And the sunflower. Let's see how thick it is. Wow. For a comparison. <laughs> and... <laughs> the head is starting to uh, weigh down. That's all. Thank you for watching.